Daisy was very unhappy. She just wanted everything to be perfect. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to swerve in the world's grand diesel sleigh. Hey! Those aren't the proper words. Why can't you sing the traditional song? <laughs> <laughs> Rex, where are the presents for the children? We're doing something different this year, so... But I don't want to do something different. I want... Oh! <gasps> oh, at last, it's finally snowing. <laughs> oh, pretty good, eh? Just like the real thing. Do you mean to tell me that this is fake snow? Yes. Do you like it? No. No, I do not. <laughs> I like real snow. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a blue number one engine. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me... Merry Christmas, Daisy. Hey, Thomas. I hope the station is decorated. Then it will look all Christmassy and special, like it should. Daisy collected the carolers and took them to the search and rescue centre. Everyone was feeling festive, except for Daisy. And then there was trouble. We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! We wish you a Merry Christmas! And Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> Job to put the star on the tree. Oh. Get out of my way! You're holding up the express! All right, show your fun, old big man. Oh, the indignity. So, Emily, <laughs> what were you two talking about? Not that I'm bothered. Oh, Douglas was telling me some funny stories about... Well, <laughs> about both of you, actually. Well, I bet he didn't tell you about the time he broke down and I had to rescue him. No! He didn't tell me about that! <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Okay, Donny. That's enough. We're swapping back. Come on now. This is getting silly. I'm not being silly. Let's swap back. You've always got to have your way. You've always got to have your own way. Wait, no! I don't think this is a good idea. Please, you two. I can't hold the train. Don't run away from me when I'm talking to you. Douglas had stopped the train halfway up Gordon's Hill. And poor Emily was left holding all the heavy flatbeds on her own. You never listen to me. You always do what you want. Nay, nee, true. You never listen to me. You always do what you want. Nay, <gasps> nee, true. It is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. And then there was trouble. Oh, no. You do. Still moving. What is it? Oh no! The train! Oh no! 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 Oh no!
Yes, it was. It was me. It was. It was me. It was. It was me. It was. For goodness sakes, you two. I was trying to help you out. If you would just stop arguing for one minute, you'd see it's me that needs some help now. Oh, what's happened here then? Oh, come on! What's the holdup? Oh, it's these silly engines blocking the line again. It was me. 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 Diesel engines to the rescue! Oh, they're coming for us. How wonderful! We're The diesels were put to work doing all the jobs to keep the railway running. Diesel Express coming through! The steam engines were all stuck in their sheds, waiting for the coal to arrive. Thank goodness you had enough coal to make it back, Gordon. <laughs> but what about Thomas? It's freezing. Oh, it's not fair. Oh, I wish I was back at Tidmouth. Uh, uh, oh, you would be if you'd done what Sir Topham had told you, Thomas. And now we're stranded out here in the wild. Ah! Oh. Ghastly. If we don't get rescued soon, it'll take till spring to warm up my boiler. <laughs> oh, hey, Diesel! <laughs> Since you're being useful, uh, why don't you shunt us back to Tidmouth Sheds? <laughs> I can't be stopping to help you, Thomas. I've got important jobs to do. The big freeze continued all the next day. Be three kings of Orient are, bearing gifts we've traveled too far. <gasps> oh, someone's coming. Maybe they can shunt us back to Tidmouth. Maybe not, then. <sighs> What do you want now, Diesel? That's no way to speak to someone who has just collected the coal for all you silly steamies. No, Diesel! No. You're a hero! No, I'm not. I'm... <sighs> Thomas, you're back! I heard what happened. It must have been cold on that siding. Oh, it was cold, Percy. Very cold. With coal for their fireboxes, all the steam engines could get back to work again. Cranky tried to work even harder. He was determined to show the newcomer how it was done. Then there was trouble. This is all your fault. Me? What have I done? Oh, he said me. Your 
you're both pulling in opposite directions. And that's what you've been doing all day long. But I've been working really hard. And I've been working even harder. But you haven't been working together. Now, this reminds me of an old seafaring tale from long ago. Do we have to listen to this? Well, since you're marooned, you've got nothing better to do. <laughs> now, where was I? Ah, there was once a ferocious two-headed sea serpent. Mildred was its name. <laughs> or was it Monstro? Well, anyway, one of the serpent's heads <gasps> liked to eat ships. <laughs> But the other ad liked to eat fish. <coughs> one ad wanted one thing, the other ad wanted something else. <coughs> and then it became obvious they needed to communicate. I say, old boy, wouldn't it be better if we worked together? Jolly good idea, old sport. <laughs> After you, old chap. <laughs> Your turn, old bean. And from then on, that double-headed sea serpent never went short of his fish and ships. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.